actually this project kick started July 27th and between July 27th and December 31st we are here Can you please celebrate God for that and this morning by the grace of God I want you to prepare your mind God gave us a word for this season and that word is that we shall run over how many of you believe you are going to run over? And um, the Lord was ministering to me yesterday because I just want to prepare your mind. I'm not, don't worry, I'm not preaching today. We are just going to flow in the spirit. Um, Dan, my, my iPad is off. Can I have Bible quickly? Can you just look at Genesis chapter 49? The Lord gave us a word, Genesis chapter 49. The Lord gave me a word concerning this running over yesterday. Remember where we started from last week, which is the book of Psalm 23. And we made you know that when you are a sheep, all the covenants of Psalm 23 works for you. It says, the Lord is my what? My shepherd, I shall not want. And verse 5, it says, He prepares a table before me in the what? In the presence of my enemies. And something powerful happened. The Bible says, He anoints my head with what? With oil. And what happens after that? My cup runneth over. And I made you realize that every head has a cup. It's just what is the condition of your cup. Maybe your cup is filled with filthiness. Your cup is filled with lies. Your cup is filled with sin. And the Bible says he will make that oil. That is why for the next seven weeks we are anointing ourselves. We've done two. Today will be the third one. Because this year you must run over. And Genesis chapter 49. There was a man that was speaking what I call the future into the life of his children he was telling them what would become of their future he was telling them how their life would go he started with Reuben he said Reuben you you cannot excel he went on and said different things about people the one he was going to cause it will cost them because of their actions but let's look at the book of Genesis chapter 49 quickly. And let us look at what happened in verse 22. Joseph is a fruitful bow, even a fruitful bow by a well, whose branches run again where? Over the wall. So anytime you read Psalm 23, always puts the life of Joseph beside the life of David. The Bible says these two men had the grace of what? Of running over. He said this man had a grace. He said his branches runs over. What does that mean? That there is no way this young man had an influencing grace. He had something that other people will reach out to. If you look at the man called Joseph, all his brothers were jealous of what God was saying about him. He said, behold, the dreamer cometh. Somebody who is always telling us how it will be great. I pray for somebody here. Your dream will scare everybody around you. And you know one thing about him? He began to run over. Out of everybody, his father made him a garment of many color. Out of everybody, he became the most preferred. And they ganged up against him. But you know one thing about it? I've told you several times here, yeah, no matter what the enemy does at you, God will use you to your lifting. Yeah. They tried to kill him. They tried to do everything, but God allowed them to sell him. Some of you are here. The fact that you did not die, you should be thanking God. The fact that they sold you, you should be thanking God. Because where they have sold you to is the reason why you are here. Where they have pushed you to is the reason why you know God today. If not for a problem, some of you here will never be in church. And the Bible did not stop there. Even in the house of Potiphar, this grace spoke. 
And again, the Bible says the archers have shot at him. Listen to me, no matter the bullets they release against you, the running over grace will speak for you. And the Bible told us that he ran over again in the house of Potiphar. He went to the prison again. He ran over in the prison yard. They forgot him again. They ran over again in that place until he ran to a level that was the highest place in the land. I pray for somebody in this meeting today. The running over grace of God that he has spoken to us about this season, this particular month, shall work in your life in the name of Jesus. So I've brought to you the life of David who wrote the Psalm 23 and who and named Joseph that the father saw what was in him. Meaning if you want to be a man of generational impact, you have to have that grace to run over. And what matters is your cup. What matters is how you will be filled. The Bible says do not be filled with wine, but be filled with the Holy Ghost. When you are filled with the anointing, things turn around. When you are filled with the oil, things turn around. This morning is about opening up. It's about declaring the power of God over this house and believing God for that running over grace. And I pray for somebody here. May you be filled with God's power. Amen. I say, may you run over. Amen. Let me share a strange thing that happened to me yesterday. I'm sure my wife will be laughing. After the prayer meeting, I decided that let's just go out and eat and we go back home and when we were eating they came to ask me i asked my simple question i just want to talk about when you are running over the consequence of running over you don't you are not your ordinary self anymore and the person came i said what would you like to drink i said give me mocktails and i looked at the mocktails they said there is one special one it is under Moktelu. So the young man just asked me one thing. Do you want it strong or you want it blinked? I didn't understand what they were saying. Under Moktelu. And they said, me with fasting. I said, blend everything together. Before I could say Jesus is Lord, my wife was doubling my face. I said, so I now ask, please call that young man for me. I now ask myself, this is the reason why the Bible says be intoxicated with the what? With the Holy Ghost. Those of us who are laughing, I know you. You understand what I'm talking about. You are still struggling with that. With that. So I understand. Imagine if, I had, if the Holy Spirit has not prompted me that there's something wrong here. That is what they call the running over grace. When you begin to speak, it's under the influence. When you begin to move, it's under the words, the influence. I'm praying for somebody in this bit. In this prophetic service this morning, you will run over. I say it again, you will run over. 